Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a reading mean comments video. Now when I say mean, I do not take offense to these comments. Um, I have grown some pretty thick skin over the years. I just love to make these videos and turn around and make a profit off the people that don't like me. It's great. This person said, Seriously, dude, get a life. It's like old already. Stop fighting with people. Concentrate on your business and your family. Good luck. This is another person that thinks that I can't do two things at once. This is my business. YouTube is my business. I have a reselling business and I also have a YouTube channel. This is, this is my business. I make money off this. Maybe this person doesn't know. I can do two things at once and two things can be successful at once. This video is a waste of time to watch and make. No one cares about you and Mandy. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's on a video I made called Sellers Are Leaving Whatnot. It was when Mandy, who is, what the fuck's her name? Posh. It's a posh life. I don't know why I forgot her name. It's when she announced that she was leaving Whatnot, I guess she's like come back to Whatnot. And a lot of people have said that they're leaving Whatnot and they're back to Whatnot. But anyway, I made a video talking about that and this person said it was a waste of time. You, you cared enough to leave a comment. So thank you for the engagement. Appreciate it. In a previous video, I have an audio clip of Joni, who is Mojo's wife, Joni, admitting to shill bidding. She decided to try to cover her ass and left this comment. I love the beautiful Barefoot Dreams sweater that I put a custom bid of $20 and one for only 16. It's the most comfy item I own. Not shill bidding if I had every intention of buying. Okay, Joni, do I need to really fucking play the clip again? Let's do it. Let's play the clip again. And I felt terrible because everything was going so low. And yeah, and and I and she's like, and she goes, oh, I'm just so happy you're here. Well, when I saw things that I knew people would bid up, then I went in and just put in a big custom bid because I knew we were going to get there. Nowhere in that clip did you say you actually won the item. You're just trying to cover your ass. A for effort, great attempt, but you're a fucking lying piece of shit. This person said, LOL, you don't have a lawyer. What copyright or intellectual property do you have on your videos? The whole entire video is copyright. It's my intellectual property. A lot of people aren't aware of that, but now you know. Plus, the way you bully people for months, now you instigated a situation. If there- It's the wrong form of there. It's T-H-E-R-E. -E. There is any lawyer involved, it's you being sued for slander and defamation. Why do you think you keep getting kicked off platforms? Imagine you have five kids and what a disgrace you are to them. Okay, uh, XO- Oh, this person has the word K in their name. Mm, ironic. XO KB712. All right. Everything you just said is thrown in the fucking toilet because you mentioned my kids. I'm not even going to go there. We're not even going to go there. But just know, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Ask the ones who received a cease and desist from me. Ask them. Ask them how serious I am about this. Maria said, My opinion is you are a bully. You are a petty liar and a hypocritical girl. I'll look forward to my own video. Maria, you don't rate well enough to have your own video, but you will get a few seconds in this video. Not a bully, not a petty liar, and not a hypocrite. Try again. All right, this person says, You say your content is calling out scammers, but you spend your personal time stalking people. Looks like you are so bitter you failed as a YouTuber and rely off of hate stalking people for views. That's pathetic. You should get a job if you're so desperate for money. Again, grammatical errors. Holy shit. I don't spend my time stalking people again. I feel like this is something that needs to be repeated in every fucking video, but I have people. I have people that do the dirty work for me. We're going to talk about that in a second. Again, these people come up with these things and they run with it and it's... <laughs> I just laugh. I just laugh and I turn around and I make money off the fucking crazy ass things that people say. Here's a comment from Babs, our good friend Barbara, Babs1985 on the Jamble app. She turned out to be a scammer, which is fucking crazy. I'll link videos down below if you want to know more, but here's a great comment from her. This is your life. A mere $4 a video talking shit, really? And these are all fake accounts. You have 900 views on a video, yet 10 comments. You're hilarious. You literally make- I just responded with, you're so fucking clueless, Barbara. So a bunch of these little children, actually Barbara's the same age as me, which is terrifying, like holy fuck. Um, but a bunch of these like literal children, like I'm talking teenagers and early 20s, ask Google how much YouTubers make and they think that I make $4 per video. You guys have no fucking clue. You don't know what CPM is. You don't know what RPM is. You don't know that it varies. You have no fucking clue. Social Blade is not 
accurate at all. Do I have to do this? I might do this. Should I do this? So let's go on Social Blade right now and let's see what it says that I make in a year. And then we're going to compare it. I'm not going to show you guys the exact amount that I made on YouTube last year because it's no one's fucking business. Um, but just know there's there's two numbers before the comma. Social Blade says I make between $171 and $2,700 a year. That is way off. Holy fucking shit. And it uses an average of 25 cents to $4 as a CPM. My CPM is way higher than that. I'm not telling you exactly what it is because once again, it's no one's fucking business. And it fluctuates. It fluctuates depending on the type of video, the type of ad that's run in the video. It also fluctuates depending on the season. So once again, all these people that think that they can Google something and that's automatically true, you, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like everything you read on the internet's true, right? You really look like a fool when you try to speak on something that you have no experience in and you literally know nothing about. You look like a fool. Um, so yeah, just wanted to clear that up. Babs, 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 keep doing your dollar shows, okay? You're doing real well. Keep doing your dollar shows and keep getting pissed off at people when they buy stuff for a dollar because that, that makes sense. Keep doing that. You're, you're doing a great job. So the Instagram account that was made about me, I can speak on it a little bit more um, because things are moving along. It's since been deleted, but that person can't hide. One thing that they said repeatedly on that Instagram account was that my friends were sending them information. <laughs> little do you know that my friends were doing that on purpose. They were doing that on purpose to try to figure out who you were. I've got screenshots. So one of my friends messaged you and said, when are you doing your YouTube? Because they said they're gonna take it to YouTube. And the person that made the account said, LOL, IDK, this whole thing is like a micro percentage of my life. I'm not sure I care enough, honestly. Really? They were literally active all day long on Instagram, answering DMs and posting shit. A micro percentage, really? Really? The person that made the account replied back and said, I know, I've always been one to stick up for others. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure what else to do. Her last couple of videos have been about new people and not really any bullying. And she left Jamble, maybe she's getting the hint. Another friend went undercover and this is their conversation. So the person that made the account said, I don't know if she knows me or not. I'm sure she's seen my name. So originally in her petition, she said that she was a victim of mine. Then she changed her story and said that she's not. She just likes to stick up for other people. Friend said, she's talked about you. If you wanna take police action, just let me know. I know how it feels to be bullied like this. Do you also resell? I don't even know who to purchase from anymore. Now, mind you, this is one of my friends baiting them, like pretending to not like me, baiting them to talk like this. They don't really mean it. We had this person fooled. It's fucking hilarious. And the person said, she's talked about this Instagram. Yes. She's just a bully. Nothing for police to do. Nothing for police to do to me. Exactly. You're right. To you is another story. And then she said, I doubt she's taking police action. LOL. It's funny that you doubt me. Doesn't she talk about it in her videos? You think it's all just talk? And then she said, a hundred percent just talk. A hundred percent not just talk. People are afraid of her, so I'm not sure how many will publicly stand behind me. <laughs> no, the scammers are afraid of me. The ones that I've called out are afraid of me. And they should be because they're bad people and they know that I'm not going to keep quiet about that. But she's making it seem that I just go after anyone and everyone. I just wanted to include those couple of screenshots because I just thought it was funny because that person that made the account was convinced that my real friends were sending her shit. And it was actually, they were going undercover. Also, the Instagram account uh, what was it called? anti vat is rad and cancel vat is rad. You think those accounts were created by people that don't like me? You're wrong. Again, it was to bait you. A comment that I wanted to address that I don't have the screenshot of, somebody had sent into that Instagram account. Somebody took a screenshot from one of my shows where I sold Bath and Body Works on Jamble. Guys, that was a fucking joke. It was a joke. So I legit had Bath and Body Works stuff because I had a shit ton of gift cards. So I did have two Bath and Body Works shows on the Jamble app, Dollar Starts. It was a joke. It was mocking gen deals. It was so I could say that I was the first person to have a sellout Bath and Body Works show on Jamble. The person was like, oh, she's shitting on Jen for selling Bath and Body Works. Now she's doing it. Yes, it was a fucking joke. You clearly went over your head. You missed that. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys had a chuckle. Feel free to leave a comment, be an asshole, and you'll end up in one of these videos. Biggest takeaway from this video, I think, should be the fact that I'm not one to fuck with. As always, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video.